So I've been looking for a boat project for a while, and when this 1989 Sea Ray 180 bow rider came up for sale on Marketplace for $800, I figured it might be a good project to check out. Uh, I borrowed a trailer from Buddy as the trailer wasn't included. These are the Marketplace photos here, and uh, went out to take a look. Uh, we picked it up for $700, and I figured even if it didn't work out, that wouldn't be the, uh, the worst waste of money. I could always resell it. It's all a lot easier than what I had planned. It was an incredibly long ride to pick this thing up. Torrential rain, flooding. Uh, what should have been about a five hour drive ended up taking seven hours. But uh, we made it home in one piece. It towed great. And uh, these are the first shots before I start carrying it down. All right, let's take a tour of the boat here. It's a 1990 Sea Ray 180 bow rider. Hull's in good shape, needs, a, needs good painting, good cleaning. Need a couple of the drains and stuff put through. It had a Merc Cruiser, which the previous owner removed to put in his bay liner. So I think the plan is See, it's a full swim deck. I want to do an outboard, but I don't want to get rid of this middle piece and cut it back. So I'm going to build out a bulkhead that will come flush to here and use a jack plate. Inside of the boat is disgusting. Uh, you can see I've already taken seats and some benches out. So that's where the Merc Cruiser used to sit. Uh, it, needs, uh, it needs a good thorough cleaning. Cockpit. So the plan is to cut these out, build a floor that goes the entire way back, fiberglass it, reinforce it, and then the bench seats will start back here. This will all get torn out, redone. Didn't come with the benches in the front, that's no big deal, that's easy to make. So this is the starting platform then. Hours, how many hours on this? Uh, oh, four, six. Uh, I feel that's probably not accurate. Anyhow, there we have it. Time to dig in. All right, progress report. I got a big old pile of trash over there. Floor's in good shape. A couple of bulkheads here need to be rebuilt, but these aren't structural pieces. These are just for the just for the cockpits. Uh, a little rod on the top here. These are decent. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Whether I'm going to do the bow rider style with the seats, or put a fish platform on here. So deck it the whole way across, reinforce on the outside of these, glass it in, deck it the whole way across, glass that in, and put vinyl, vinyl decking on that. I think that might be how I go. I don't know yet. But then I'd be able to stand up here and fish. Anyways, that's that so far. Next, we gotta start cutting some stuff out here to extend all this back. 
I need to find somebody to reupholster those seats. So in these next few photos, you can see where I tore out the bulkheads that uh, made up the engine compartment and the bench seating itself. I removed the gas tank, the engine, the outboard components, and the steering as well. All right, here's a progress update on the boat. So I finally got the stern drive components removed from the uh, inboard outboard. I'll have a bulkhead that comes out here. It'll accept the, uh, the outboard when we get one. I have removed the back bench seats the engine compartment area I'm gonna push everything back so seats will be back here now uh, this will be like a armrest table uh, it'll have a floor piece over it that's removable bilge pump will go down there and uh, the cooler will sit under there seat here seat there that's where the fuel tank goes we'll also have a removable piece of flooring um, We'll have our seat here. Our seat here. Gonna build in the sides, I think. Bring them straight down. Just because I like the, the clean look better. I uh, need to get all the gauges out. I'm not gonna go with any of this stuff. Steering wheel's gotta come out because it's gonna be a different system. That's a hydraulic system. Uh, what else? The flooring was good. Drilled a couple of holes to inspect it and make sure it was, wasn't rotten, but where we had all these bulkheads and walls, you can kind of see where they, they came off. I wanted a smooth piece to go the whole way along. Uh, from there, I will smooth this out, this area here, with the uh, short strand infused filler. Then everything will get a, coat, a couple of coats of fiberglass with the epoxy resin. I do have some rot here. These are pretty bad. So I'll get these out, use them as patterns, and extend it the whole way forward. And then they'll come up and over, because these are rotten as well. And we'll make a new seating area up here uh, with doors underneath. And then there will be backrests here, so you can sit forward facing. Anyhow, that's where we're at. Picked it up last weekend, and... Uh, and this is what we've gotten to so far. I'm pretty happy. All right, it's time for an update on the boat. So September 25th, here's what we've got done so far. Uh, we've remade the bow, the bow seats. Uh, this still needs a little bit of clean up here. Those bulkheads have been remade on each side. Gas tank was out, clean, reinstalled. Got a piece of three quarter here now that's going to be uh, swapped out for a piece of half inch. Stick a little proud. Floor's been redone. So I cut out, you can see where the, the cross piece came through, and then there was another one here. And the bench, the bench would have sat right here. And then all of this would have been a flat panel off of here, okay? And the Merc Cruiser sat there. I'm going to leave this center part here removable. Uh, there is, uh, that's where the build pump, everything's going to go. But what I've done is I've built up two bench seats. So you'll be able to sit lengthwise in them, stretch out, or 
off to the side. Uh, this is going to be a compartment that's going to have cooler. There's going to be a top over top of this, which will wrap over the side. So any water that gets on the top, drip down off and not into here. That'll be padded probably and uh, some cup holders and a little fancy. All this will get closed straight down to there. Battery will go back on one side or the other. Um, walls I'm going to sheath down all the way to the floor. Door front. I was torn whether I wanted to make a swim platform up here, so have this go the whole way across it. I could just stand on it or leave it as the bow rider seats. Uh, I am going to leave it as a bow rider seats. I can still, if I want to, I can still stand up here and, and fish quite comfortably. Uh, but I, I just didn't want to get rid of the seating altogether. There will be a second seat here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use these seats. All the instrument cluster is going to come out, steering wheel is going to come out. Uh, this will all get redone. And again, I'm going to enclose the sides going down as well as the back. I plan to do an outboard, but I don't want to cut the swim platform here. Uh, the fuel filler cap is here as well. So I'm going to build out a structure that comes off the back pass platform that will house an outboard motor. Uh, as you can see, I still need to enclose a transom. Everything's nice and solid here. Okay. That's where we're at. A little bit of progress. I've had it, what, two months now. And I'm quite happy. I'm, I'm soon getting to the point where I need to do fiberglass work. So I'm gonna fiberglass the floor all as one. That, uh, the piece over top of the fuel tank will be permanently attached. There will be an access port to the uh, fuel level sending unit there. The um, vent tube is already installed and it comes to this vent on the outside of the boat. And uh, I need to get a new filler uh, filler hose. So I'll take the benches out, I'll take the console out, I'll take the seat out, I'll fiberglass the floor and all the seating up front. Then I will fiberglass these separately, put them back in, build my tops, upholster, uh, do my sides, fiberglass that, so on and so forth. I would have filmed more of the process, but this has kind of been a uh, design on the fly thing. It's a little out of my wheelhouse, so to speak. Anyhow, there we are. Stay tuned for part two. That's the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two.